90 today is a stunning back backdrop. So uh, what I'm going to talk about today is how your go golf club should be positioned in the address position, okay? So how, how, can, how should your golf club be positioned at impact, okay? So normally if I was to ask you how you think your golf club should be positioned, I would normally say, oh, the sole of the club should be direct contact with the ground. But what tends to happen here, okay, because the club has a tendency to be in the static position to start off with, and the, the sole of the club is in tan is, or is in contact with the ground. What happens is, on to the impact position, what happens is because we've got a lot of bone in the shaft, what happens is the shaft bows down the way, so from that position, okay, that's a neutral position, the shaft bows down this way, what happens to the toe, the toe turns down the way, okay, so the toe turns down, the heel slows down, the toe overtakes, okay, so if I was to get into a position, okay, the dynamic, so if you were doing a fitting with somebody, somebody would come probably do a dynamic fit instead of a static fit, so dynamic fits, the impact, the, the loft that produced the impact, as opposed to static fit, which is the actual loft on the club impact. Very, very rarely you get the same, okay? So very rarely the static loft's the same as the dynamic loft, okay? So that's where we need to take into consideration what the club is doing and, to, and how the club's interacting with the ground, okay? So first thing I always like to see is because as we're coming back through into impact, what happens is the shaft has got a lot of bone, okay? So the shaft's got a lot of bone, it bends down the way. This part, the toe, turns in this way. What, what happens is we get to impact, the, the club shouldn't be flat on the ground all the time so what happens is because we're coming through to impact and we've got a lot of load on the golf club okay so the shaft bends up the way okay so the hands move up the way the shaft wants to bend down the way okay so the hands go this way so the hands are thrown out to the right the club bends to the left okay so so the bone in the shaft that means the toe is going to turn down the way the toe turns down the way okay so we want the toe slightly on the ground, so slightly because the shaft's got a lot of high load in, the hand's pushed out to the right, and what happens, the toe turns down the way, okay, so the toe, the toe's slightly off the ground, what that happens is it helps the club bone to the left, okay, so if I hit this ball. So, it's important to go and get fitted, okay, so we want to fit into our clubs correctly, we want, don't want to try and fit into our clubs, so if your clubs are too long for you, you're going to have a tendency to try and raise the handle, okay, so try and stop the face closing, or if they're too flat, you're going to have a tendency to try and lower the hands to try and keep the face square. So it's important to understand that your club should not be directly in contact with the ground, so we create a lot of high loading, which bows the shaft forward, okay, and down to the left, the hands are thrown out to the right, the club rotates, okay, so it's important if you've got a, ha a bad habit with that to go and get fitted, okay? Irons are struggling over a ball flight. If you're struggling with accuracy, there's a good chance that your irons are maybe not suited for you. Maybe the lofts are different, maybe the lying was different. So it's important to understand that everyone's clubs are different, okay? So I'll hit this shot. So I'll get top of the backswing. Because we create a lot of high loading in the shaft, the toe rotates over, okay, and the toe should be slightly off the ground because the hands are travelling right, okay, but the shaft travelling left. So, so if you've got any thoughts on that video, it's important to go and see a club manufacturer or a club pro to get fitted correctly or accordingly if you're struggling with, okay. We don't want to grow into our irons, okay, we want to have them suited to your set makeup and your specifications to start off with. If you've got any thoughts on that video and you want further information on certain topic, topics, uh, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And find my tips helpful, subscribe to my channel at Jimmy Allen Golf or follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook under Jimmy Allen Golf. Thank you. Look at lie angle, okay, so it's a bit of, it's covered how your club should sit on the ground in relation to impact, okay? So, what we talked about, the toe, the toe of the club should slightly off the ground, okay, because the shaft wants to blow down, the hands are thrown out to the right, okay? So, but if you are, for example, the lie angle dictates your accuracy, okay? So, everyone has different styles, so it's important that you go and get fitted to your specifications, okay? So, if you were, 
If you're slicing a golf ball, you might need a club that's too more upright, which closes the face, okay? And if you have a tendency to pull the golf ball, you might want to go for something with a little bit more flatter so the face is slightly open. The shorter people have a tendency to go for flatter clubs, shorter, okay? But if you're somebody who's a little bit taller and arms a little bit longer, go for something that's a bit more upright, okay? So, if you got any thoughts on that video, comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.